What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my first Fortress War here in Realm 426. But before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know this video, I'll be doing a giveaway, and the giveaway will be raffled in two days and yield you the prize of some money. That's right, nothing in game strictly money and it will be paid out via PayPal now all you have to do to enter is of course subscribe to the channel be a subscriber and leave a comment in the section below from anything of when you found my channel to comments about Fortress Wars whatever you want to comment everybody that is a subscri subscriber and has left a comment We'll go into a drawing, and the winner will be drawn on two days from now, which will be Sunday, and we'll be announcing the winner on Monday. Once you have won that, I will contact you via the contact information here uh, through YouTube and let you know that you've won. The prize amount will be $30, that's in US dollars. Uh, that'll be enough to keep you going for about a month here in the game. You can get yourself a monthly card pack. You can get uh, a few other uh, in-game packs if you'd like. Or you can keep the money. Go get you something to eat. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it, it's yours. But all you have to do, once again, leave a comment and be a subscriber of the channel. And you'll get entered into the giveaway. And I'll announce that on Monday. Now into the Fortress Wars. And as you can see it playing in the background here, it is like, the best way I can describe it is like Savage Lands on steroids. Uh, make sure to bring your gems, speed ups, and all your true peels when you come into this thing also. Stack up before, because uh, you will need them. Now, being that it was our first time in this particular situation, uh, the tactics tactics were very kind of unclear on what we needed to do at the beginning and as the video plays out you'll see that we finally get on the same page and realize hey this is the best tactic to use uh, you want to march as one just like you do in elite wars uh, the savage lands aspect of it is pretty much you're not losing troops uh, they're only going to wound it you can heal them during the process uh, you do win points during the event, which you can use for HPs and attack bonuses. Uh, also, you can use those for speeds as well. Uh, but it's a grid system. In the grid system, everyone starts in the same castle, and you march out from there. And the object is to take up as much territory as possible uh, to gain points via territory that you own. Now, once you take the territory, you will have to defend that territory because someone else, as you see here in the video playing out, can just take that from you. Uh, you still keep the points that you gained while having it, but you no longer have the territory. So that's something that is new. It's kind of cool and interesting. Uh, you can see the little part that was uh, in the blue there. That is what I call the second phase. Um, that's going to be level two territories and then so forth. Uh, I'll show the grid here system here in just a minute and uh, It shows you basically where everybody's castle is and it shows you the little plots of land that you have taken and Of course right now you can see that center grade section is uh, Basically not available yet uh, tiles you own will be in your color, tiles that are not available are in gray, uh, gray, or if they're available but not taken, they're also gray. And as it goes, you can see the center castle there. That is the main big daddy dog that you want to strive for that's going to yield you the most points. Um, but what I'll do here is just let it play out for you. And uh, you can see sort of how we went, the act, you know, the route we took, how we kind of crumbled a little bit but gained a little bit back at the end. And uh, it's definitely got me looking forward to the next time that this comes out. Uh, we'll make sure that we have much more in attendance 
and also just a little bit more prepared. Um, I know we did buff up. We were all set with that, but we lacked in attendance and um, well, just the sort of layout of the land. But here it is. You guys check out the remainder and I'll come back to you at the end with a few of my final thoughts and also something that War and Order granted everybody that played in the Fortress Wars. Here it is. Check it out. And I'll see you guys here in just a minute.
and there's our first look here in 426 and honestly i had a good time uh it was uh much like a lot of events rolled into one and yes there was a little bit of lag here and there uh the editing took a lot out uh, but also being that it's a learning situation, uh, today, matter of fact, war and order issued some refunds, so to speak, which you can see on the right side of the screen. This is what I was sent back. Mainly I spent gems as you saw on the one speed heal and a few other little minor things, but it looks like they did kick me back the gems and, uh, most graciously taken back, uh, they're obviously experiencing a lot of concerns, a lot of lag, and this is something that they are working on and working with the community to better uh, the gameplay. Uh, so thanks for that, and I know a lot of people, people out there are very happy for that as well. Uh, I know this event will only get stronger and the bugs will be worked out for sure. Uh, also guys don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe that way you can be entered into the giveaway and Good luck to everyone out there. And like I said, I'll be announcing the winner Monday But as always if you guys like the video smash the thumbs up button And if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and until next time y'all keep gaming and I'll see you in the next one